What if I told you that your favorite chocolate bar started its life as a bitter, slimy fruit that tastes nothing like chocolate at all? Let's break down the surprisingly complex journey from cacao pod to the creamy chocolate we love. It all starts in tropical regions where cacao trees grow colorful pods filled with seeds surrounded by a sweet, sticky pulp. Farmers crack open the pods, scoop out the seeds, and begin the most important step, fermentation. For about a week, the beans ferment under banana leaves, transforming from pale and bitter to brown and aromatic. That's where real chocolate flavor is born. After fermentation, the beans are dried in the sun, then shipped to factories where they're roasted, giving them that deep, rich smell. Next, they're cracked open and winnowed, separating the shells from the nibs, the pure essence of chocolate. Those nibs are ground into a thick paste called cocoa mass, which is then pressed to create cocoa powder and cocoa butter. Depending on the recipe, chocolate companies blend these ingredients with sugar, milk, or extra cocoa butter, and refine and conk the mixture for hours until it becomes irresistibly smooth. Here is the part most people don't to know. The silky texture of chocolate I Sen, tea natural. It's the result of precise heating and cooling called tempering, which gives chocolate its shine and perfect snap. So the next time you bite into a chocolate bar, remember it took fermentation, roasting, grinding, chemistry, and craftsmanship to create that tiny moment of sweetness. If you enjoyed this delicious breakdown, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content.